Hi, this is Ronald Golova. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this time we are going to look at how to insert different page numbers in uh, the same document. You could be having a big document, maybe like a, a report, a proposal, or anything where you are required to have uh, different page number formats like maybe the first five pages could be having Roman numerals then the rest of the pages they might want you to indicate maybe Arabic numerals the usual numbers that we know one two three four now how do we do that that is what we are going to uncover here we are going to make it naked uh, it, I know it is usually a big challenge to many people Okay, but please, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications. Please like and share with the friends. Uh, you can send me a comment or if you want me to add anything, but as long as you have subscribed, you hit the bell, you always get notifications. Okay, uh, let's straight our start. Now, supposing you have a document like this one and um, you want to insert page numbers. As you can see, this document scrolling through, it has no page numbers. So how do we insert page numbers? To insert page numbers, we go to insert. Then on insert ribbon, you click page number. Then you choose the position where you want the page to go. Do you want the page number to go uh, top page, bottom page, uh, in the margins? Do you want it current position where you have clicked, uh, where there is insertion point? Uh, let's say we want it bottom of page. Normally, then we pick it to be bottom of a page in the middle of uh, the particular page. Uh, when you do that, you will be in a position to get the pages here. So you can see this is page one and the document goes through all the pages. Good. Um, now supposing um, we say maybe the first, first, first five pages or first four pages should be in the Roman numerals, then the rest should be in the usual numbers that we are used to. So before we do that, let's first change the format of this page. So when you click, when you insert page, you get a new header, uh, header and the footer tab here, which gives you your ribbon. And now here the ribbon, you click page number, then format page number. This changes the type of, or the format of the page. We want Roman numerals, then click OK. Yes, now we are back in the Roman numeral page number. But remember, we want to insert these Roman numerals to be for the first five pages. So what we do, we go at the end of the fifth page. Of course, let's close the head and footer here, such that our text here is active. As you can see, we are now in page number five. When you click there, that's page number one, we go to page number five. Because from five downwards, oh, we want uh, uh, to have not this kind of page numbering, but the usual one, two, three, four. So we click at the end of the text, uh, towards the last uh, page where I want the Roman numeral page numbering to appear. Then uh, we go to insert and then we insert a page break. Yes, when you insert a page break, it will even create a new blank page. So you click at top of the new blank page, then you press delete for your text to come back to the uh, beginning of that page. So we are done. Now next we are going to use to select where we want to apply the other page numbering. We want to change the format. So you click here, uh, then click layout. 
you select lay out here on the ribbon then uh, it gives you the first grouping which is page setup you click the page setup launcher uh, it launches the page setup then you apply to because you want to change the page setup here where you say apply to you click then this point forward that means you want to apply a new format from this page forward so you click ok mm -hmm. so we have applied then next you go to um, you, you go back to insert then page number now page format which page format you click there and then you check this one you click that you have changed the number format the usual number and then you want to start from one then you click ok good so uh, when you do that you can see here this is roman numeral four then let's see what happened to the next page now the next page is number one number two number three number four and so on and so forth up to the last page which is now page number 39 okay uh but maybe you may say i want to change again maybe even the last pages from here downwards maybe i want to use just letters the page numbers to be a b c d so again we click there go to page break it gives you a new page then you delete you click on that new page you delete our uh, text comes back then again you go back to layout page setup uh -huh. apply to the new changes this point forward you select there this point forward then you click ok mm -hmm. so from this point forward you want to apply a new formatting so go back to insert then page number format page number then uh, which page format maybe we want that one then click ok good now you can see here we are stopping at 37 let's see is the new change there yes now the next page is page a page b page c uh, yes there are only three pages that were remaining so when you check here it is a document of page 46 but we have broken it down into different page formats so that is how we apply different page uh, formats in the same document usually this is a technique and that is how we insert uh, the page number so after inserting the page number we can format it to any way we want actually you can even choose to remove the page numbers all the page numbers will go they will disappear then you start afresh and uh, here this is just uh, selecting where you insert uh, a different uh, a, a type of page so after that now you can even here you can insert a header a header is a text that appears on the top of every page similar text it will be appearing on every top of the page and then yet a footer it will be a text that will appear the same way you see this page number appearing here you can choose instead of having page number you can choose to have different text same text appearing on each and every document of yours that is the footer but you have to be careful after inserting the page number when you just insert a footer uh, the footer the page number will disappear so what do you do you have to be careful when you're inserting and then you choose which kind of even a footer yes a footer you can insert one which has got three positions or one which has got uh, yeah two like this one you can insert a footer here then after inserting a footer there you insert a page number here then you insert your footer text here okay that one you will have page number together with the a footer and it's the same thing even with the header you can insert a head of one single text or a header of three text position holders so that is that thank you very much please uh, like subscribe comment and share with the anyone
So we'll meet again for yet another new idea. Thank you. Bye-bye.